Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're inside a Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League where things are heating up in the realm of PlayStation, which is not where I thought I'd see the majority of this stuff going off. On top of that, hackers are now in fully fledged swing and are making a an impact relatively largely on the game overall. A cheeky little surprise when you've played the game for 15 days consistently in a row and some other stuff in game world that you guys may not have known about. So with that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Also check out our sponsor for today's video, Control Freak, the number one in gaming aiming. That's right, we made it rhyme. These things are absolutely amazing. And if you are on console at all, this is the company to go for to help make your aim a little bit more precise. And using code CloudPlays at checkout will get you a cheeky 12%. And I know, but it's better than 10 Anywho, if that being said, let's dive on into today's video. So starting off, Suicide Kill the Justice League PlayStation 5 players dwarf the Xbox and Steam players for once, which is absolutely mental. Now, there has been a bit of a controversy overall with Steam as they appear to be wildly more on PlayStation players on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League than both on Xbox and Steam. Now, Steam being low, I suppose, makes some amount of sense. This is a game more designed for consoles consoles than actually on PC with controllers being the mainframe for the game but as when you log in it actually asks you to use a controller uh, for me myself I've been using the PlayStation 5 the entire time and it's great fun indeed but even if that's true there is no spinning how poor these numbers have been debuting at half of Marvel Avengers and under Gotham Knights now being played less than Arkham Knights and Borderlands 3 after not even two weeks on the market this is a really, really big boo and something I'm not overly happy about. But the curious difference is between Xbox and Sony. Now, one indicator that Suicide Squad was in fact selling or doing pretty well was that the game had been on the top of Sony's pre-sales charts for quite a bit. And then when it debuted, it was the second most played game on the whole platform. It slipped into third and then fourth and now it's down to about ninth place. But still, out of every game on the PlayStation, that's not too bad at all and actually the overall numbers for that are pretty well bloody done indeed. Now on Xbox though, things are, well, way, way worse. Originally, Suicide Squad debuted at around 20 to 21, uh, around when the game went live on February 2nd, but I know there is a good amount of lag time on those charts being updated, so figured that those were early access numbers. But now we've been watching and watching, and now for almost two weeks later, it's at number 26, below Assassin's Creed Valhalla, For Honor, and Starfield in the single player game that was released five months ago. Now even if this chart's do lag somewhat, I think we're past that and the game has performed very poorly on Xbox, especially compared to PlayStation, where it seems to be doing pretty well. Now on True Achievements though, which tracks similar data based on certain subsection of Xbox players, Suicide Squad is not even on its top 40 chart at all. Now at least some of the explanation here is a Sony marketing deal with WB Games for Suicide Squad, which meant a lot heavier promotion for the game on the platform, no doubt leading to more purchases. But this level of disparity is incredibly high, and it does strike me as strange that Xbox players would be this low compared to PlayStation. And again, unlike Steam, we do not have exact figures here, so that complicates things greatly but players meanwhile have been attempted to deduce a player count through the leaderboards in the game which show over a hundred thousand players there but it's unclear if those are meant to be the overall totals active players or what we have no idea at all two things that do seem to be true though suicide squad is not selling well at all on at least two out of the three platforms and no matter what it seems like rocksteady and wb already have a solid year of concept for the content mapped out that will be released no matter what as the game tries to increase its fortunes with new characters and missions. It's going to be an interesting one but it, we're not going to be able to really track this one heavily until the Joker releases in March as well 
as obviously when the producers actually head into a surge for the marketing ramp up. But for now though, PlayStation appears to be the biggest success story. Will it be enough? We'll have to wait and see. With nearly 7,000 positive starred votes on the PlayStation, there seems to be a decent amount on there. But one place which is getting heavily attacked right now is the PC. With hackers that are already infiltrating the game, this one right here is incredible as we read out this article piece on side of Reddit stating, I love this game, it's wonderful to play, but when I go into the world wide leaderboards and see 1 billion damage on your shotgun, okay buddy, whatever you say, there are these kind of people that ruin a good game for the rest of us and it needs to be stopped, plus my sniper is at 1600 DPS and I'm infinite rank 57. For a comparison, this is physically impossible to achieve such high amounts of DPS and also he doesn't even have the damage increase for the shotgun augment. No, absolutely nothing adds up on over this one for his talent tree has over 10,000 points in his overall damage which gives him a thousand percent increase. So let's say hypothetically the original weapon was a 2000 plus, give it the 1000 percent increase or even somehow get a 10,000 increase or whatever and you should still never even hit the 1 billion damage bracket. So you can see that they're coming in heavy chunks with this one right here having 990 million being the number one in the world. That's just a, a little bit crazy. Absolutely crazy, but nonetheless that's the pc for you we're going to move on from that one hopefully wb games and rocksteady do something about that because you're going to take away the number one key factor on this game which is trying to get to the top of the leaderboards legitimately anywho if you guys are playing this game for 15 days in a row you will get a very very cool calendar man doll that you will earn in game which i thought was quite a a cool little addition that i had no idea existed um now we're going to talk about some other stuff though which is a little bit mental to say the least but we see right here that this has already been addressed via a lot of other videos and a lot of other people have already spoken about this so I'm definitely not the first but I don't know who was although this post right here states why has nobody mentioned this although we've already covered that they have but so when the flash dies the ship picks him up using a portal and the team jumps in to escape the lantern and the portal leads to the multiverse slash elseworlds no one mentioned this so far as i can tell no videos no posts no nothing is like the details has went over nearly everyone's head people are pointing out all these little things like the lantern's ring and the fingers flash the flash's finger sorry not the fingers flash <laughs> and etc etc but not want to talk about this now obviously people are talking about it and what they mean by that is that these characters are clearly cloned or they're elseworld versions of them they're not actually the real justice league the main reason for it is every time that you kill one of them when you kill the flash he gets beamed up to the ship which is obviously meaning that it's going to be potentially brainiacs flash on top of that we also have the green lantern and when you take him out he obviously gets beamed up and then with batman you obviously have the cutscene where harley quinn shoots him in the head on the bench and then he gets floated up as well although apparently according to some youtubers you can only see it if you utilize the harley quinn character it's in the corner of your screen but you just can't see it throughout every other thing uh, not only that it leads to question with a lot of this and i'm really really on the fence about how it's going to work because apparently there are some voice notes and voice lines around a lot of other things with brainiac saying that it's his justice league and not just the overall justice league or anything like that a really skeptical one but nonetheless a very interesting one and one that i really really like the talk of and the conversation of although right now it's been a little bit stagnant with uh, well nobody really coming up with anything new just recently and i think that we're probably going to be fo falling a bit flat on theories until season one actually comes in in march which i believe we're still waiting for a date on which is a little bit weird on february 13th but nonetheless i'm waiting to see what's going on with that one if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on thank you so much again for watching guys appreciate your faces like subscribe and as always i'll see you in the clouds